I didn't know I had a middle name until uh, we get in trouble with Rosie. You know? That's when I learned I had a middle name. Because I got in trouble a lot. It was David Paul. Get in here. So, I'd like to tell a story about the wooden spoon. If you know Rosie, and if you were little and you were raised with Rosie, which I was, she had the power of a wooden spoon. Right, Jason? Eric? Johnny? Where you at, John? I'm going to tell you a story about that. We were raised together. We lived in Carson. Uh, they lived uh, about 10, 15 houses down the street from us. Uh, and we would go over there to visit. You know, we had a good time. Johnny would go over there as a young man. But I always seemed to get in trouble when I was over there, you know? <laughs> Eric was, they were, they were a little bit little, but uh, you know, I was like 12, so they were just a little bit little. You know, I'd see Eric over there playing with some Barbies. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Is he Jason walking around? Because <laughs> he couldn't fill out his head yet, you know? <laughs> but it was a good time. Johnny and my brother, and I would be in the front yard, wrestling, fighting. So all of a sudden, I hear that famous words, David Paul. And I'm like, oh. So she says, David Paul, get in here. So I come from the front, and I go inside. I see my uncle over there sitting. He's shaking his head like, boy, you're never going to learn. So then I go to the kitchen where she's at. And she goes, don't make me get that wooden spoon. And you know, I'm a little smart out of little kid. So I see over there, I look to the left, and I see the counter. Normal counter is about this tall, is that not correct? Well, my aunt is about this tall. <laughs> so I see the wooden spoon on the counter, and I looked at my uncle, and he's like, boy, you just don't know. So she says, don't make me get that wooden spoon. So I looked at the wooden spoon, and I looked at her, and I laughed. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> How are you going to get that wooden spoon way over there? So needless to say, she, I started laughing. By the time I finished laughing, she had did a triple backflip <laughs> onto the counter, snatched the wooden spoon, and woke me three or four times before I, before I even thought of it. <laughs> So that's when I learned about the powers of the wooden spoon. So me being a smart aleck, you know, she sent us home. She sent me home. Go home. So a week or so later, I come over. Johnny's there. And Eric's still playing with the Barbies. <laughs> this guy's still running back and forth. <laughs> but I'm going to be a little sneaky, right? And every time I went over there, I got in trouble. So I was looking around. I go in the kitchen. So I take the wooden spoon. I'm outside playing, wrestling with Johnny. My brother and I got him in the headlock like we always have him, right, Johnny? <laughs> you know who won all the time. So all of a sudden I hear this, David Paul! And I stopped and I'm like, yes. <laughs> I even think I did something wrong just for her to call me. I'm like, yes. I run in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah. Now what you gonna do? Yeah. She's like, don't make me get that wooden spoon. And I hadn't seen my uncle see me take the wooden spoon. And he's like, boy, you're gonna learn today. So I said, go ahead. Get it. Right? So she did that. And she's like, oh, my wooden spoon is gone. So she looked at me and she realized that I had taken the wooden spoon, which was the biggest mistake that I have ever done. <laughs> so she's like, oh, you think you're funny, huh? I was like, yeah, I'm funny, <laughs> right? <laughs> so she's like, come here. So she jumped up and she tried to snatch my ear. And she was good at that too. <laughs> but at that time I was just a little bit taller. So when I went like that, she missed. 
So she's like, oh, you think you're really funny. So I'm laughing. So then she says, who I am in God? And she hits me in my stomach and it's like, <laughs> And then she says, whoosh. She's like, who's funny now? <laughs> then she takes me around the house by my ear. You know, my feet are dragging behind me. She opens the drawer. There's a wooden spoon. And she's like, wow, 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 wow. She takes me over here. She had wooden spoons all over the house. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. So that's the power of the wooden spoon. It taught me a lot. It taught me how to behave. It taught me how smart Rosie was, how loving she was. So I wanted to kind of talk about heroes. You know, some people's heroes are Spider-Man, Batman. My hero is Rosie. And her superpower, she didn't have a cape, you know. She didn't have no gadgets or anything except for the wooden spoon. But what she did have, class. She had love. She was just a beautiful woman. No matter what you did, good, bad, wrong, indifferent, she loved you anyways. You came to her house. She wasn't one of those persons that sat on the couch. And the way that I was raised is, when you go to somebody's house, you address the parents, the elders. You go and say hi to them. As I got older, I liked my name, David Paul. Because when I went to go visit my Aunt Rosie, you didn't have to go over to her. She hears that knock on the door, and, oh, David's here. And it's David Paul. Oh, and then she comes running to you, you know? She made you feel welcome. She fed you whenever she was cooking. She never just made enough for herself or for her children. She made enough for people that are coming over to the neighborhood. You know, she's raised numerous people, not just her, her two boys. So even though I do have a mom, Rosie was like my mother. Even though I have sisters, I have eight sisters as well. Rosie is my sister. Even though I have angels in heaven, I have another angel in heaven. So for this woman, she's my hero. And she should be for